Hello, my name is Alexander Stamczewski. I am a data analyst at BT Provider and Tableau Certified Associate. Today, I'll be showing you how you can construct a jitter plot in Tableau. Jitter plots are useful for viewing one variable and viewing its distribution or spread. And it's useful for identifying min maxes and where the, let's say, normal uh, normal behavior is, the normal belt, as you can call it. So let's say we want to look at our profits uh, broken down by order IDs. If we add order ID, it's the view, and we make it a circle, we get this thing, which is not very useful, even if we bring profit onto color, it doesn't really tell me a lot. Yeah, there's one point here, but there can be multiple points hidden uh, in the same line, as for example here, or here. So how we can jitter this? Well, there are actually uh, four options in Tableau. I'll be showing you three, and the fourth will just be mentioned. So one way is to all include the calculated field. So one calculated field is random, and there is actually a random function in Tableau. Uh, but this only works with text files or with Tableau data extracts. And you get a new field called random. Let's change this to a min aggregation. And if you bring that down to columns, we get a jitter plot. Let's make this fit into view and maybe tweak a bit. Now I can see my spread. I can see where the normal belt is. And I can see my extremities both for positive and negative profit. Much easier to read. This is one way of doing jitter using the random function, so let's call this random. Let's duplicate it and see the others. So another way of using it is instead of random, if you're going to, let's say, to a database and not an Excel, is to use index. So we create another calculate field called index. Let's drag index instead of this random. This is not what we're looking for, and make it compute using order ID. And we get roughly the same image. It's a different spread because this is a certain seed, this is another seed. Okay, let's call this index. Now there's a four there's a third option, and we'll create another calculate field with full name pseudo-random, and we'll be using this formula, which is a pseudo-number generator. And if you take this onto index, and again, tell it to compute using order ID, we get another jitter plot, which actually looks a bit better than with index. And let's call this pseudo-random. And finally, there's a, a fourth option, which I can't show because I'm not connected to a database. And that's using a raw SQL to pass to the beta database if that database has a uh, random number generating function. So these are three ways of doing jitter plots. Thank you for your time. And if you have any other questions, please feel free to ask us.